How many people do you think to prefer shopping from mobile applications over the websites? Let me tell you, the numbers are very high. E-commerce is one of the biggest and most demanding markets. There is a lot of scope for your own mobile application in this niche. Mobile e-commerce is also known as M-commerce generated a revenue of 3.56 trillion in 2021. If you also want to have an amazing e-commerce application with the advanced features and functionalities, this video is for you. So let's get started and show you the admin panel of the e-commerce platform. Admin panel for the e-commerce platform. Here you have the details on the heat map and the area will be highlighted in which maximum number of orders are being received. And on the left hand side you have the number of users and subcategories that were added onto the platform recently. Here you can toggle between different merchants and their uh, particular uh, revenue type whether it was increased or decreased and the maximum selling of a particular merchant. On the right hand side you will be able to see the details of the orders whether it is instant, scheduled, what was the distance, payment type and the status. Then you have the chart between the comparison of online and cash revenue and then the monthly bifurcation how many users, drivers and orders have been there in a particular month. Now we have the users. In here you will be able to see the details of your user. You can toggle between different views and you can import or export your users as well. You can mark them active or blocked in a single go. So this is the customer subscription ship module in which the customer can buy the membership plan which the admin creates and in that you will be having certain values like what will be the additional discount type which the end customer will be getting, the delivery charge if they will be getting any specific discount on that, then whether they will be having the free delivery or not or whether the plan is annual or monthly. Now we have the merchant types here. You can add the merchant types. So if I click on edit. So in case of the hyperlocal, the merchant the merchant's detail would not be visible on the customer facing applications and website. And you can mark them on a brand or not. And whether they will be having a service charge or a packaging charge, you can add from here. Now we have the categories. You can add the categories and subcategories accordingly. Now, if you are selling a particular brand on your own platform, you can add the brands here so that all the products that you add will be listed under these brands only and they will be highlighted as a branded product in the applications. Under the manage catalog, these would be the option for all the products which the admin will be selling solely by himself without any help of the merchants. Whereas in manage merchants, you will be able to add the catalog for the merchants also, catalog the products and then the manage inventory for the merchants. If we go to merchant products, all the products that the merchant has added will be visible. Now you can catalog the product if there would be any and then the manage inventory. What was the price, quantity, minimum purchase limit and the maximum purchase limit as well. Now you can add the vehicle types and these will be reflected in the customer facing applications when the driver places an order and these details will be visible and from the driver panel as well you can choose these vehicle types which will cover in a bit. Now we have the orders section in this you will be able to see all the delivered orders will be highlighted as green the pending ones will be highlighted as blue and the cancelled one will be highlighted as red if you click on the detail, you will be able to see the customer details. You can assign the order or you can assign uh, the driver manually and you can see the payment type, delivery notes, whether there are any trip fare, what was the tax that was there, packaging charges and total pay in the bond. Now we have the manage payments. So in this, you can see that how many merchants have how many commissions and you can pay and view their payment history as well if there would be any. So that you can manage your logs accordingly with the merchants. Now we have the coupons so that if you want to apply a discount on a particular product you can select the product type, select the merchant and select ultimate the products. You can change the selected products. I'll change the merchant type to fresh. I'll select the products and again if I'm applying discount on certain things 
I can apply. You can enter the description of the coupon as well. What will be the coupon title and the coupon code? So these would be the deals. Deal deals are basically the banners that will be reflected on the customer facing applications. So again, you can add the deal name, discount type, whether it is flat or percentage, description, start and end date, and again you can add the products accordingly. Now we have the sales reports. In this, you can see the description between online and the cash revenue, then the orders and the products, how many products were sold and how many sale was there, and then the orders and corresponding to that their revenue generation. Then we have the category and then the subcategory, how many they were added and what was their total revenue. Then the merchant and driver who have been onboarded and their particular account and the sale. And then here you can see the driver's earning as well. At the bottom we have the monthly bifurcation again and the merchant type according to their sales. Now we have the notification. In this you can send the broadcast notification to all of your end customers like if you are running a summer discount and you are giving 50% off you can add a broadcast title and a notification message that we are giving you 50% discount and by using so and so code and in that you can send this broadcast not notification to the end customers and the merchants as well. Under the customer support you can enter the details and the person, the end customer will be able to see the reasons that you have added from here. So if that will be a return order, that will be highlighted here and you can mark it as resolved or unresolved. Now we have the settings option. In this you will be able to see the project details, the app name and everything. Under the edit profile you will be able to see the name, under the change, pass change password you will be able to change the password, then the billing. What plan are you currently on what will be the next billing date you can change the plan and you can add the card details and at the end you will be having the invoice id total amount paid and then the billing status then if you want to change the look and feel of the whole platform you can toggle here and this will change the whole look and feel so if i want to change the colors of the button management as well i'll do it from here if i want to change the look and feel of the customer application i can do it from here as well and then the driver application as well so if i click on update automatically the project theme will be highlighted and as you can see the look and feel of the whole platform will be red in color and the manage catalog if you go to the manage merchants the buttons and everything that's highlighted will be red now we have the project images you can change the logos of the admin and then the customer and then you can add the splash screen on your customer app images directly and you can click on update automatically these things will be reflected on the customer facing application and then we are integrated with seo as well for the marketing of your product you can add the page title page description google tag manager key which you can get easily from the google console and then the product is ready for the marketing